what we do is, is perceived as a bit of a black art. So we want to try and unravel some of that. The idea behind these classes to pick aspects of what we do to make it a bit more focused. We're not trying to make it too complex, we're not trying to make it too simple, so that way everyone can be engaged. Christian is more free-flowing, you know, he's self-taught, he's more artistic, so therefore he brings slightly different aspects, you know, things that we didn't really think about that he just incorporates. So we're trained to do skill development and taught a particular way, and I think a blend of those two processes is really good. I think they work well, really well together. This work has done so much for me in my life. I've, I've gotten opportunities and experiences that I would have never dreamt of my, my way to kind of give back to the craft I figure is to keep it going I've always felt like I owe something to this after learning today's skills the guys will be able to make a paper pattern understand the paper pattern learn the fundamentals of shrinking material and also just get an overall idea of how complex and actually how hard metal shaping is. Understanding the process is, is really essential. So right from the concept of an idea towards the progression of a finished product. So you're, you're on this journey. I feel like metal shaping is, all, is the hardest part of designing uh, something like a gas tank. But also making it is, is really difficult too. And for me it's always the hardest part of, of that bike building process. This thing that's like constantly putting you to a test. Knowing how to place the paper properly on the piece that you're trying to replicate and, and how to run your folds is, um, is I, I think in my opinion, is probably the most important part. You know, you have a lot of experience under one roof here, especially with Sosa visiting. So uh, the guys, you know, Giorgio, Vaughn and Christian looking over your shoulder while you work. It just helps you processing, gets you a better result faster. I've known the Moto Retro guys for a while. I've done classes here previously. I've bought equipment from them and I've known of Christian Sosa just from social media. As soon as I found out that he was coming out here, I yeah, booked the spot immediately. So then I went all the way around. You can see how the, the material comes down and then it pulls back up. So we'll, that's just because, again, there's more material on the outside that needs to be brought in. My way of explaining or teaching or learning is through, through mistakes. The only way that I can understand something is if it doesn't work. To, to get better at this sort of stuff, you must practice. Practice makes perfect. And it's, it's with everything you ever do, any skill. I think a lot of it is taking what they're trying to tell you, adapting it to your own style of working, and then taking that away. Take a little snippet of knowledge and information from everyone. Even if it's 10% right, focus on that 10%. I start light-ish until I feel, like let's say this, this rough part, right? So right now, I feel where it's kind of light, that you kind of hear that noise that it's making like slapping around, so I just tighten it up just a little bit to bring it back down, and as I work it, as I'm working it, I'll do a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter, because those highs and lows have the wheels spread apart, right? So you're bringing them tighter, but then at some point, you start backing it back out. If, if you don't push through and do it the wrong way first, you're, you're, it's gonna be very hard to understand what the wrong way is. You have to experience the wrong way. Today with Christian, I picked up one thing that I thought was an amazing and such a simple little thing that he does, but it took him years to, to come up with it. Like close one eye like this and I'll, I'll find where the tank kind of fits. So I'll, I'll start off with going something like this and then I look at it from the side. My, I st always start with the side profile. And it's like a um, eureka moment, you know? Christian Sosa has taught us heaps, just learning from someone who's so advanced in doing this sort of stuff. Some of these machines I haven't used before, you now I can understand how they work, manipulate the steel and move that into whatever I do with the motorcycles. But also, you're going to have to practice pretty heavily. You can't just look at a book or watch a demonstration and pick it up. You really have to get hands on with it, which is what we've been doing today. 
You know, you watch the professionals do it and they make it look very easy and it can be quite discouraging when, you know, you first have a go. So just trying to make it feel as natural as possible and also let the machine do the work and not fight the material. I felt a lot of positive uh, feedback from people. So, you know, everybody was very dedicated and very focused and, and very positive. I always feed off of that. You know, I feed off of that energy. The smile on their face, man, I got this, I know what I'm doing now. They see the light, that is brilliant. For us, that's, that's what we look for. You know, there's things in here that I've never seen before in person. To be able to come to a class here and, and have um, access to all of the machinery that's in here, it's pretty amazing. Look, it was so positive, you know, they enjoyed the process, they loved the time with Christian. Someone who they really respect and admire. And, and what they really walked away with, hopefully, is inspiration to then move on and really achieve their goals.